Hi friends, today we are looking to a review for an HP wireless printer. This is an all-in-one printer. As you can see here, it's written HP DeskJet Ink Advantage 3545. That is the model number of the printer. It's from HP company. It can print, scan, copy and it also has capability to do print photos. So this is an all-in-one printer it's black in color very sleek very compact looks classy there's a flatbed scanner for a4 the overall dimensions are not uh, much you have the printer is not very heavy and i would say it's perfect for home use or small office use it has wireless capabilities so if i look at the wireless capabilities uh, it performs fairly well. It has good range of wireless. It allows you to connect in two ways. First, you can also connect this to a uh, router. Uh, that is, it comes in the network or the wireless network that you have in your home or office. And the second way is if you want to uh, connect it directly to the printer without a router and uh, without any Wi-Fi or anything. Uh, that is basically no internet access. So then you can do that as well. This printer also allows you remote printing. So suppose you are in another part of the world and you want to print something which you want the one who is sitting near the printer should get it. So that is possible through remote printing. You can even give command over email and it will accept it and print the document that you want. So while we start up this, uh, this is the start button that we have here. And these are the access buttons. We have a home button here. Then we have a back button here and OK and up and down scrolling buttons. This is the wireless uh, button which shows you whether the wireless is on or off. If the blue light is stable, the wireless is ready to go. Then you have other options which are there. This is the help button. So while this is turning on, it takes a little uh, few seconds to turn on. So I'll show you the overall dimensions. If you look at the side, this is how the side looks like. I mean, you can see it's pretty, uh, you know, classy, the black color, it's very good. I'll uh, show you the back as well. Now if you look at the back, again the compact, there's nothing except you have the printer cable you want to attach or any other cable, one more connector here. So very very compact, I mean there is nothing as such which you can say that is wrong. It looks very elegant and very nice when it's uh, kept in your office or uh, home or wherever you are going to set it up, doesn't take much space as well. This is a duplex printer, so duplex means it can you know print on both the sides on a single sheet of paper. So it's and if I look at the top, there's a good branding of HP here, so it looks pretty pretty uh, decent. And I would say it's one of the best printers that HP came out with as far as uh, home and small office users are concerned. Now, if I look at the menu correct uh, carefully, I'll... so here's the menu that is there. It says copy, scan wireless for wireless connection wireless direct then you have ink levels so I click on ink levels I can see you know what are the ink levels this one is showing as uh, uh, one is showing you know till here the one is black one is color these are the different ink levels that I have so I have one which is the color one is low and the black one is still okay uh, then you have printables uh, different forms and quick forms tools preferences wireless Settings. So there are a lot of options. Plus, if I want to, uh, if I look, one of the useful options that I found in copy was, okay, you can do a black or a color copy. That's all fine. Copies, number of copies, whether double sided or not. Paper type, you can select resize then the actual size. ID card copy is very useful. I mean, if you want to copy a, a driving license or make a copy of your Aadhaar card, PAN card, or any other useful uh, ID. Then this win allows you to do you know print both the sides of the of the ID on the single or the same side of the paper. So that's very useful. And then you have lighter dark options. A lot of options are there which you can explore. I'll also take the opportunity to show you how the uh, flatbed scanner looks like. So if I open it, so there's a top uh, view that we have here. Here I can you know put a sheet of paper and then I can do the scan as I want. If I want, and I'll show you some sample that I printed. So this one that I printed was uh, basically with this printer. This is in completely in grayscale. So I did a double side printing as well. So it's pretty uh, neat. I mean, there's nothing I can complain about. So it's pretty uh, good printing, I would say. Okay, here it was in color. 
another chapter that I printed for my daughter and it's in color so it's mostly blue so I'll be doing a simple printout for you guys from my laptop and show you how you know fast it can print or uh, it will be an ordinary black black and white printout so we insert the pages in uh, in this section here so you can insert the pages and slides you can put around say 50 75 or 100 pages if you want uh, it should be able to take more as well but then that's that would suffice for a small printer or an office setup that you have an, in home or a small office so once you have inserted the pages then you just uh, slide out this uh, tab here and then you open this tray like this so this is important to do because the pages will fall down or you may not you know go here and there if you don't do this and it will keep on doing it it starts from the last or the uh, on reverse the last page so I'll do a simple printout and show you it's being done from my laptop and let's see how much time it will take and how it's done so I'll just give the print command the print command is given so let's see how much time will it take to fire up and uh, the network will start receiving the command to print so on wireless I would say this uh, okay it's now it's saying now printing so on wireless setup I would say it's, uh, it's pretty okay the speed is decent not very fast but then if you are doing a lot of printing I would suggest not to use a wireless setup and rather use it in the direct setup mode with the USB cable so now it's printed the one page now it's takes the page back in and will print the other side and then so it's all done so as you can see that the page has been printed and uh, the quality is pretty decent you have three modes in it you can print at normal draft or you can print at uh, the best quality possible the uh, draft is for uh, heavy printing needs that you are going to print a lot of uh, doing black prints and I would suggest go ahead and use the draft mode otherwise uh, normal mode is okay for uh, occasional prints that you do and best is of course for the best printing that will be uh, required as per your needs so I'd like to show you uh, how the software looks like once you install the HP software so you'll get an icon on uh, your desktop something like this it says HP direct jet 3540 series so first it will try to sync with the device and see what all information is there so okay so I have here the estimated ink levels then see what's printing connect printer to web okay these are a lot of options set preferences so if I manage scan to computer so I can do everything I want from here and more so it's a complete setup, complete interface. You can see the estimated ink levels is showing that the color cartridge is going down and the black one is already is uh, sufficient as of now. So you can also uh, do a lot of other uh, things that you would like to do. If I look at the preferences, here you can select the print quality. So I'll show, show it to you if I want to select the, uh, say the print quality as uh, normal. I can do that draft, I can do or best if I want. So uh, I would also like to point out that this printer is capable of doing photo prints but I would not recommend that you do a lot of them because a lot of ink will be used and it will not be very cheap as compared to your other options like the ones you have in the market you can get it printed print for quite reasonable uh, the photos so I would suggest that you uh, not use this printer as such for photo printing. I would also like to show you the innards of the you know if you want to change a cartridge or something so let's look at that so first of all you have to open the printer like this then you have to open uh, there are two you know where I am putting my finger there are some dents here and once you open this it opens like this and once that is open and the cartridge is the color one is the purple one or the pink one and the other is the black one so I just pull out this slot like this once I pull it out then the cartridge comes out like this so this is how the cartridge looks like it's a 678 cartridge pretty reasonable I would say in 500 bucks you can get the cartridge black or color 
so you don't need to do lot of refills and all uh, get into all that stuff the cartridges both are very reasonable and the uh, hp has ensured that you can you know buy them at quite reasonable prices so i snap it back and uh, so the cartridge is snapped back right now okay one thing i would like to show you is uh, suppose your paper gets stuck it does happen very early uh, in my 2 years of use i have hardly seen it ha happen two to three times so but it's not but you should know how to do it so you just squeeze here and this thing can come out and then you can remove the paper that has got stuck here and just pull it out so you just squeeze back uh, with both the fingers you squeeze this thing here and then you put it back here and there so it's set not very difficult to do but you should know that it can be done so this was all about the cartridge uh, changing the cartridge you can do this from here and that's it so your printer is ready to go pretty strong decent printer i've been using this one for more than 2 years and i would say that i'm very very happy with it and i would recommend that you definitely go ahead and buy this model if you want or any model which is uh, in the duplex series of hp because uh, these are very good printers uh, not only for home and offices but uh, for day to day use they will prove to be a very good uh, companion for your printing needs thank you for watching my review